Hi there guys, welcome back to the Fernet channel. In today's video I'm going to show you guys how to mine Satox coin on HiveOS. Right, so if you're looking for an explanation on what Satox coin is or what their proof of earn features are, then go ahead and check out the previous videos on the channel and they'll give you guys a lot more information in regards to Satox coin and its play to earn feature. But in this specific video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set yourself up very, very simply on HiveOS so that you can start to mine Satox coin. Now, first things first is you are going to need to download yourself a wallet. Now, you can't download a wallet onto a HiveOS system, so you will need your main Windows PC to do this for yourself. So you'll need to just download the Satox Coin 2.1 Windows Tar X Z and follow the installation process through and get yourself a receive address so that you can start to mine Satox coin. So let's take the mining that I have just here. Let's go ahead and copy this address. Take this copied address. Let's take ourselves over to our Hive OS. Now, the first thing that we're going to need to add is our wallet. So if we press add wallet, if we type into the ticker S A T O X, so for Sato, then we'll need to paste in our wallet address and then name the wallet anything that you would like. So for ourselves, we're going to call it Satox Coin as that's its name. Let's go ahead and press the create button. Now let's take ourselves over to our actual miner. Let's see what's going on. So you can see that currently in the moment we're mining on Novo and Raptarium on farrantonpool.com. But what we're going to do is we're going to set this up to mine Satox. So we're going to need to create ourselves a flight sheet. So let's take ourselves over to Flight Sheets and let's go to Coin Ticker, S A T O. We can add in the Satox Coin wallet just there. We can configure the pool in the miner. And for the miner of choice, we're going to be using G Miner. Okay, so let's set up our mining config. So we can already see that it's set up correctly for the algorithm, which is fine. For the wallet, we're going to click on the wallet and worker name. Let's take ourselves over to miningpoolstats.stream. And as you can see, I've already got Satox up here. You can see that it's had some pretty good price movement within the last 24 hours. You can see the difficulty as well. It's also had and never saw slight little spikes here and there, while a lot more people are starting to get their interest into Satox coin and its proof to earn feature. So let's pick a pool of our choice so as we can see here we've got a few on the list right now um, this has 1200 something miners on it but the hash rate uh, looks weird so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on to this one with six miners so new pool.pw and let's take ourselves over to the get started section and let's take ourselves down to the G minor just there as we're using a 3090 for this video. Let's go to this point here and let's copy the pool address and the port. Copy this, take ourselves back over to our flight sheet. So for the pool server, let's paste that into there and let's put the URL port for that. Uh, X and uh, that's not really necessarily needed anything on there. I would recommend looking into some extra config and arguments to ensure that your overclocks are set correctly. Apply changes once this has been done. Name this as you'd like, so Satox. And let me just add another miner to this as well. So let's look at Raptarium. Let's use an RTM wallet. And we can configure this in the miner. Let's put ourselves on to the CPU opt. Let's fill in the wallet and worker names into there. Let's place in farringtonpool.com as well for the miner for the Raptarium. For those of you that are able to CPU mine, you're able to use the pool URL that's on the screen. Sometimes the website currently at the moment isn't uh, showing up, but everything is fully functioning. And let's go ahead and press apply onto there. And if we press the create flight sheet, and if we take ourselves back over to our worker, take ourselves over the flight sheets again, and if we press the rocket here, we should now be successfully mining on to Satox coin and Raptarium at the same time. And we should 
from this point start to receive some earnings within the next few hours now one thing i'd recommend is just to copy the wallet address that you just put onto there take yourself back over to the pool that you was using like i say pick any pool of your own choice take yourself a dashboard and let's have a look where is the worker statistics work statistics and then paste in your address and press look up connection error so just give that a few moments maybe for some shares to actually start to go through and start to get accepted um, from that point you'll be able to start to earn some satox coins so if we just give this a few seconds to establish itself and for the miners to actually start to kick in okay so once your miner has started to send some accepted shares through you will have a dashboard that starts to populate and show you some information it'll include your hash rate how many shares you've submitted and home out also how much you guys have been paid uh, within the last 24 hours or within that period of time so as you can see here saying the current uh, payout estimate at the moment is 7.9 satox of course that's a lot more higher than that it does need some time for itself to stabilize and to start to show it some full information and also as i mentioned before make sure that you guys overclock your graphics cards correctly so that you don't do any damage to your hardware as core power does use uh, quite a fair amount of power especially if you're using uh, as, as i've said before a 39 for this instance here um, where you know where it can use up to 330 watts of power just to you know mine a cryptocurrency like this itself okay for those of you as well that are interested in satox coins play to earn feature and you're wondering how to set yourself up to earn when you play with your games on steam then check out the link in the description and also check out my channel as i've just done a video showing you guys how you can set yourself up for the play to earn feature so that means that you can mine during the day on your personal pc or during the night and then you know throughout the day whenever you've got some time you can play on any of the games throughout steam 500 plus choices of any of the games that you'd like and get paid for that in the process right so there you have it guys you should now be successfully mining satox coin on hive os as long as you followed all the steps exactly all the way through if you have any questions on how to set yourself up to mine then please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to check out the channel as well for the play to earn video to show you guys exactly how you can set yourself up so that you're able to be earning from the moment that you power any of the games from your steam account so make sure to check out the links in the description make sure to check out the channel make sure to subscribe like and also as well don't forget guys make sure to follow us over on twitter make sure to jump into our personal community discord and i'll see you guys in the next video peace